we have the next topic as staffing models and jobs and positions okay so both are part of the same logic or functionality but we have divided because there are slight differences now whenever any client you see like uh, if you go to a client now i have just taken an example of reliance group okay so i said reliance group might be in different different businesses it can be in petroleum business it can be in manufacturing it can be in it okay or it can be in pharma it can be anywhere now whenever you are hiring an employee in any supervisory organization workday says that depending on the industry of the client we decide what type of an staffing model staffing is in general in workday have two types of staffing models one is position management and job management okay for example if you get hired to your organization they might just give you kind of a designation because you never know they just tell you okay you got hired as an um, senior consultant you got hired as an team lead you got hired as an a manager but in the background company will be doing certain kind of an roles kind of a thing okay so in work day there are two types of hiring it happens position management hiring job management hiring for example if you go to an factory so let's say you are in india you go to an manufacturing industry in professional words we say manufacturing industry but in normal terms we say it's a factory so if you go to an manufacturing industry there might be 40 50000 people working in it but do you think that everybody have specific roles no they can be a worker daily worker okay normal laborer so that's what they are treated they can be paid on daily basis or they can be paid on weekly basis okay so manufacturing industry always goes this way so everybody doesn't have a specific role to be played so everybody is treated as a worker so in that kind of a mode we will always go for your job management where there is no major importance for the role but we create a role and then we hire bulk employees into that particular role okay so daily workers 40000 we can create one role hire 40000 employees in that particular role which is nothing but daily labor for all the daily laborers let's say there are 200 uh, managers so uh, take one particular job role hire 200 managers in that job role done so this is what always happens with your manufacturing industries but let's say you go to an it industry in which we are all working in it industry everybody have their own specific roles if at all i say i am an work day functional lead okay if at all we take anybody else he's an kind of an um, uh, work day functional or work day hcm architect or work day business analyst so everybody have unique roles for them so that particular cases if we say that any role which have unique kind of an identification that will always be hide under your position management so now if at all you, you take an it company and you want to hire 10 people under one particular department then you need to have 10 positions but if you go to an uh, normal manufacturing industry if you want to hire 10 people under one particular role you will create only one role hire everybody into that role so that is the major difference about your job management and position management and this basic difference is not only with work day you go to any erp sap uh, oracle anywhere this is the major distinguish okay so here we'll try to understand staffing models hiring restrictions uh, differentiating staffing models so we have different names but the functionality is what i have just explained and whenever we have job profiles so job profiles is again going to be a very 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 important uh, concept in work day because job profile is one particular area which is linked both to job management and position management where we define multiple criteria in your job profiles and at the same time we have job families we have job family groups so what is job family group so you can say job family group can be considered as an umbrella where you have multiple job families under one umbrella and under uh, one job families you can have multiple job profiles so in that way again this type of an hierarchy that again gets created as part of your uh, staffing models or jobs and positions okay